not on now. some good stuff right there. Oh yeah. There, now I can plug my house into my bulldozer whenever I want. Oh, but yeah, Jamie, what if you want to use the bulldozer and the house at the same time? Oh. Well, if I have a big hankering to drill press while I'm bulldozing, I'll take the inverter from here, go take it outside, attach it to the bulldozer, unscrew my drill press, take it outside, mount it to the bulldozer, and start driving around and drill pressing, and then I'll stop and promptly go get my head examined. And apparently there's a fort in my house. Did you guys confiscate my bulldozer? We did. What is it right now? We it's a train. It's a train? Where are you going? Around the city to look for the goblin. Oh, the goblin. What's the goblin doing? Changing the signs. Oh, so you have to change the signs back and catch the goblin? Yeah, it changed the sign on my house. Now, I, now I, I'll never know where my house is until I, get that, until I make that goblin change the signs back. Don't you remember where your house is? No, it's in a very hard to find spot. Oh. Uh, most important thing here. These pull out. So if for some reason I get in my bulldozer and start driving away, these will just disconnect and not like rip the house apart. And they're two different shapes, the two different plugs. So I can't plug them into the wrong one. No, you know what? That's not the most important thing. Here's something more important than that. My kids are outside right now rolling tires down the hill I made with the bulldozer because I bulldozed like the island. So this end is lower than that end. What? We're actually getting a tire. One oh, they again. lost a tire down the other side of the hill and they're going to get it. But the point is, they're outside rolling tires down hills, having tire races. And I get a lot of criticism from people saying things like, how could you take your kids to a, a an island where they're not going to have any friends and they're not going to be socialized correctly? What kind of childhood are they going to have? Well, I mean, they do have friends around. Um, but more importantly, the rolling tires down hills. And I'd show you, but they're also butt naked. They're butt naked, rolling tires down hills, getting filthy, making forts. And the last place I was before I moved here, the kids there spent most of their time on iPads and just, just staring at screens, not doing anything. And, you know, that's basically the choice that I made for them. Uh, I made the choice between screens or real life, and I chose real life. I'm not saying this is the only way to choose real life, but hey, Aurora, are you pretty happy here? <laughs> she's nodding. You have to take my word for it. And she's also making a pig nose. You get do it against the window, it'll be even better. You might break the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so are you happy here? Cool. Anyway, I'm just saying, if you want to live some amazing way of life and you're worried about your kids, don't worry about it so much. If you go on an awesome adventure, they're going to have a cool childhood.